my product review analyzer app is ready let me select this csv file with all the product reviews that i need to analyze and click analyze reviews and the app has started doing the analysis of each of the review from the csv file and now it has completed the sentiment analysis the rating analysis and the emotional analysis of all the reviews by using three separate and purpose specific small language models all running locally and for free if you are looking to create futuristic gen ai applications to cater use cases such as let's say stock market sentiment analysis or maybe emotion analysis of a customer when they are making a call to a call center or let's say to run intent and rating analysis for product reviews then that's what we are going to discuss in this video hi my name is avijit you are watching now together where i try to simplify latest tech and innovation for your future and your business let's get started welcome back if you are looking to create purpose specific ai applications or ai agents with multi-step rag pipeline or workflows then you would need more specialized fine-tuned models rather than large language models because specialized fine-tuned small models respond faster as they serve one specific purpose and you can create complex pipelines utilizing multiple such specialized models to create an enterprise grade futuristic application to achieve complex task capabilities and in this regard a company named llmware have really captured my attention as they have created multiple such small specialized models and also made those models available to the open source community they have recently released their slim models which stands for structured language instruction models what a tongue twister isn't it but these models are nothing but each purpose specific fine-tuned small models that does one thing well and also return their response in a specific structure such as json which is understood by applications you can use these models to do let's say sentiment analysis emotional analysis rating analysis etc etc the best thing is you do not really need a massive hardware to run these models as they are small and it can be run using cpu only consumer grade hardware so in this video we are going to take a look at all the slim models that they have published in the hugging face website and then we are going to install and load all these small models in my local machine and run them to see how it works and finally we are going to create a sample product analysis review application purely utilizing these models running locally so if you're ready let's dive in before proceeding to the videos i would really like to urge you to subscribe to the channel as that really motivate me massively to bring this kind of videos to you for absolutely free okay so this is the organization card for llmr into the hugging face website i will attach the link in the description of the video in this page you will find all of their published models to the open source community they have dragon models bling models bert models so these are more rag optimized models which we'll probably discuss in a separate video for this video we are more going to focus on the slim models now for slim models they have slim models which is more like full slim models and then they have quantized slim models which are more in ggf format these are the models which we are going to use in our demo today because these models you can run in your cpu based consumer grade hardware that means you can run multiple slim models parallel in your locally consumer graded hardware now if you're looking for more enterprise graded application to build then you should check out their full models from here to see the different type of the model they have nli model which is natural language inference they have sql models where you can ask questions related to database and it can create sql statement and then they have ratings model this is basically used where you will give it a text it will read the text and read the text they have ner model which is named entity extraction models this is nothing but basically if you give it a chunk of text it can fetch name organization location all this information from that text and give it a json output they have sentiment model where it can do sentiment analysis of a text they have an emotional model where it can do emotional analysis for a text or a review yeah they have so much other intent models category topics and tags models as well um yeah you can check out individually each of the models how it works and in fact for each of the models they have some um, description here in the hugging face page that you can take a look and you can you know, do your own test so now it's time to test this model so now we will go to my project space and start testing you know few of these models locally 
okay so now i am my project folder let me first create a folder here called llmoir test now i'll go to llmoir test one of the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a python environment so you can use this command to create your python environment i'm not going to do that because i've already created the environment and downloaded all the models it's going to take some time for you when you're creating the environment first time and downloading their models so i'm going to skip running this commands but i'm going to show you exactly what commands that i have run so this command is to create your python environment now the other thing you should notice that i am running this under wsl which is my windows subsystem for linux because what i have found is that i cannot run their model in windows machine it is throwing some error um, and it's probably because my python version is not matching or maybe their model is not supported in you know windows system or maybe my cpu architecture is not matching i don't know what is the problem but i could not run their model in my windows machine as in powershell or in git bash that is why i have opened a wsl terminal and i'm going to run all the code in the wsl terminal itself first thing first i'm going to activate the environment and then in the llmware test let's create a file called main.py so now what you need to do is install llmware now what we are going to do is we are going to import the llmware config and then we are going to import model catalog and we are going to initiate the model catalog and then we are going to run this method from model catalog get llm toolkit what this method will do is it will download all of their slim models into your local system of course it's going to import the ggf model because we are running it in a consumer graded hardware and then i'm going to run llmware get model repo path and this will print the path where it will download all the models now if i run this it shows that this is the path where it has downloaded all the models so let's see the directory structure and as you can see um, in this repository it has downloaded all the models like category emotions intent and each model have a config.json and the ggf file which is the actual model file in ggf format so this you can run in your cpu now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to amazon and now what i have done i have opened one of the amazon product which i have bought a few days before now i'm going to copy one of this review and add a text and add it there and let's test the sentiment analysis first so first thing first what we have to do is run model catalog dot load model and load the slim sentiment tool so we'll do load model slim sentiment tool and this should load this model and then what we are going to do is run the sentiment dot function call provide the text and the parameter as what we are trying to do is sentiment analysis and function is classify set get logic as false and let's try to run this so you might face this error as i am facing because i have a nvidia graphics card that is enabled with my wsl but because these models are ggf formatted models these are meant to be running with cpu so if you face the same issue what you need to do is set the coda visible device to blank this will ensure that for this session all my graphics card are going to be invisible to the program now if i run python main.py that should run properly and there you go it says the sentiment as positive and i can see the response and also if i go back and see this sentiment was indeed positive now let's try to pick a more like negative review yeah i have got this review i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to come back here and going to replace it and then run it again and yep it can say that the sentiment is negative that we can see it from here as well so that means the sentiment analysis slim model is working perfectly now i'm not saying it will work perfectly for every situation but you get the idea of how to use the sentiment models now they also have an utility called llm fx and what this module does is it helps you abstract all of the step you can load any of the model in like one line and use it so how you can do that is let's say i'm going to disable this and i'm going to set the purvis as false now let's say i'm going to load three separate models first it will do sentiment then it will do emotional analysis then it will do rating analysis and then we are going to print the emotions then the rating and the sentiment and let's see 
how it responds so i'll run the main.py once again so as you can see it has started working it has first printed the emotion as disappointed rating as one just as it was in the amazon website and also the sentiment as negative so basically this llmfx function is kind of abstracting away the the steps and also abstracting away a lot of the response because you have seen previously the response was too big and so it has kind of abstracted those response and it has given really a sensible and truncated response that you can use in your application okay so this was a very quick test of their sentiment emotions and rating models locally now let's see if we can create a very quick application where we can use these models to achieve a use case so what we will do is we will create another file called app.py so we will first import the streamlit this is just to empower our ui for the application that we are going to build then we are going to import pandas this is for loading any data frame so the idea here is we are going to create a product review application where let's say you as an e-commerce owner can upload all the product reviews into this application and then this application will analyze all the customer review about that product and generate a report let's say which will say what is the overall sentiment for that product or what is the overall review and ratings for the product or maybe based on that the product owner can you know decide about how to improve that product right so so we have imported the pandas next we are going to import the llm fx as we have done before we are going to first initialize the llm fx so this will basically load all the three models as we have done before and we are setting verbose equal to true because we want to see how the application is going to work in the background so let's set our main method first so basically what is happening is we are going to create the application title as product review analyzer now the uploaded file basically we are using an file uploader uh, which is a module within streamlit this will allow you to upload any file and we are basically saying the file here will be csv type file we are initializing a button called analyze reviews so basically if the user clicks the button and the file is already uploaded so uploaded file is not none will ensure that the file uploader have got the file and then it's basically going to read the csv using the pandas module and then it's going to fetch the review column from the csv file and add it into a list and then it's going to call the function called analyze reviews and it will provide the list of reviews that we have just set it here now it's time to define the analyze review function so i have already written the function previously let's go and quickly review so basically we are setting the result in the start and setting everything as zero and blank now for each review in this list what we are going to do is we are going to run the llmfx.emotion rating and sentiment so it will run emotional analysis rating analysis and sentiment analysis and because the response from this llm where slim models will be in json format what we are going to do is basically going to get the llm response emotions so just to show you how it worked for the main.py you can see the llm response were like a json object where the llm response have a, had a sub json field of emotions that had the value similarly for the rating model it has a similar structure and sentiment model also had the similar structure so that is where what we are doing here we are fetching the llm response and then the emotions for the emotion response that's coming from the slim model output and same goes for rating and then same goes for sentiment now what we are doing we're doing a very basic processing now this is not a standard way of doing sentiment analysis but this is just a demo so what we are doing is if the sentiment becomes positive we are adding one point and if the sentiment is negative we are adding one point for the negative so what will happen in the end is the product owner would know how many positive response he has received on the product or how many negative response he has received on the product similarly it will append the ratings so the ratings will be in the scale of one to five it will append everything all the ratings and then in the end we are doing an average rating analysis which is basically just sum of all the ratings divided by length of like the number of reviews basically and um, similarly for emotion for example you want to say five people who had given positive response have been impressed 
and two people out of all the reviews have been actually confident about the product so this is basically counting each type of emotion and yeah that's all okay so our code is ready let's run it okay now we can access the application from this port and i have created a sample csv file with date and the review so this has mixed of positive and negative reviews that we are going to test in this application and there you go my product review analyzer app is ready let me select this csv file with all the product reviews that i need to analyze and click analyze reviews and the app has started doing the analysis of each of the review from the csv file and now it has completed the sentiment analysis the rating analysis and the emotional analysis of all the reviews by using three separate and purpose specific small language models all running locally and for free okay so this was a small demo on llmware slim models you can see how effective it is and that's why it is imperatively said by the AI experts that using fine-tuned small language models are at times better and more effective than using the large language models especially where you are trying to create a complex AI application. All the code that I have shown in the video will be shared through the discord community so if you have not joined yet please join the discord community as I am trying to build a community where we can help each other and know things together. Also I have a long list of pipeline of similar contents you can also check my content tracker that will be linked through the description somewhere below and very soon you will be able to vote on the content that you want to see first i'm working on that and meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe as i bring this kind of video on this channel for you for free with that said i'm going to end this video please take care and i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>